Hello there, welcome to Saber Jewel Gaming where we always take the high ground. Now, if it wasn't clear from my logo or from my online content, I am a huge Star Wars fan and I am also a huge gaming fan. And these two things combined have both given me some very happy moments and some very miserable ones. Lego Star Wars games have very much been a mixed bag, but right now we're in something of a renaissance for Star Wars games. Lego Star Wars The Skywalker Saga has been a massive success globally. There are many games being re-released on the Nintendo Switch and PS4, and Star Wars Eclipse is, hopefully, on the horizon. So now seems like the perfect time for me to reflect on these games and to state what I believe to be the 10 Star Wars games that you need to play. Now a quick disclaimer, to avoid this video being 5 different LEGO Star Wars games, I'll be only picking the best game from each franchise, the rest will not be eligible. Number 10, Star Wars Battlefront 2 Celebration Edition. Similarly to the arc of Anakin Skywalker himself, Star Wars Battlefront 2 is a game that has had to come back from the dark side and redeem itself by overcoming its past. Star Wars Battlefront, released in 2015, was a shallow, empty shell of a game, and on release, it was one of the most offensive console games ever made. However, Star Wars Battlefront 2 wasn't always an instant hit either. On its release, there was a lot of additional content that people had to pay extra for, but now that the full game has been released on the PS4, it's something of a work of art. The story mode itself is quite limited but still enjoyable, but the online and single player options still available are outstanding. The gameplay itself is beautiful and the graphics are absolutely outstanding. You can see just from these videos, it's really like being in that Star Wars universe. Whether you want to take to Stormtrooper armor and start shooting rebel scum, or pick up a lightsaber and take it to the Sith Lords, this game has it all. Number 9, Star Wars Jedi Knight Jedi Academy. Already I can feel the hatred flowing through the screen, so I'm going to keep this one brief. I know a lot of people prefer Star Wars Jedi Knight, but for me, the follow-up was just far more fun. I enjoyed the option to customise my character and take that Jedi on an experience of learning, being able to grow in the Force, learn new Force techniques, and follow a story and adventure that I genuinely enjoyed. The controls were a little bit clunky and still are now, however I actually find the controls more intuitive in this than in the original, so as much hatred as this is going to bring me, I personally think that this is a game that Star Wars fans need to play, and is good fun. Number 8, Star Wars Republic Commando. This is a game I only played myself for the first time on the Nintendo Switch in the past couple of months. However, already I'm beginning to find it to be something of a classic. Republic Commandos allows you to take control of Delta Squad, a group of specialist clone commandos, in a first person shooter that sees you take part in the Battle of Geonosis and a number of other campaigns. This is a darker, grimier Star Wars experience than is found in most of the other games, and that allows it to really stand out as something different. You don't have special powers, you don't have a lightsaber, you're just a commando in there with a gun, and this feels like playing something similar to Doom, although it does have the advantages of working with a squad that will participate on your commands. It's got an immersive feel, and it gives you a very different perspective of some key Star Wars events, what it's really like to be under that helmet, taking part in the Clone Wars themselves. Number 7. Super Star Wars on the Super Nintendo Entertainment System. Okay, this game is much older than the rest of the games on this list, however, I've recently been doing a retro review of it for my channel and I just could not bring myself to leave it off. I won't go into too much detail, if you want to find out more about this game, go check out that review. I'll try and pop a link below. However, this comes from that 16-bit classic era of games, and for me, Star Wars games in the past have a special classic feel to them, so go and check this trilogy out, but start with this one. Number 6, Star Wars Episode 1 Racer. And for anyone who's watched my retro review of this game, you'll already know I was not a fan of the pod racer scene in The Phantom Menace. 
I found it boring and it went on way too long for my liking. I know a lot of people loved it, however, so this game being released was never a surprise. However, what was a surprise to me was how much I enjoyed it, and certainly going back to play it now, I find it more fun than even back then. The controls are fantastic, the courses are fun and exciting, although it would be better if we actually knew a little bit more about these planets, but other than that, this is definitely one worth checking out. Number 5. Star Wars The Force Unleashed this game was something of a victim of its own marketing, which painted it out to be something it just wasn't. However, if someone goes back to play this now, I genuinely think you'd actually really enjoy it. The gameplay itself is pretty decent, if a tad repetitive, however the story is absolutely exceptional, with some great action scenes, and the acting and voice acting, especially that of Sam Witwer, who would go on to voice Darth Maul, is something special to behold. Number 4. Rogue Squadron 2 Rogue Leader The Rogue Squadron franchise within Star Wars is, on consoles at least, possibly the most iconic series of them all. However, while Rogue Squadron itself was fantastic, Rogue Leader was really where it peaked. This was the game that set the standard for space combat in Star Wars games. Games such as Jedi Starfighter and Star Wars Starfighter would go on to try and emulate that in different eras, however none would reach the immersive feel of this particular game. It helped that, unlike games such as Star Wars Racer, this wasn't just based on one scene in the franchise, but iconic scenes from across the whole series. Ships that you'd seen in Star Wars, Empire Strikes Back and Return of the Jedi were all available here and you got to take part in some of the most iconic battles and scenes that were either seen in the films, or even those that weren't. You got to see the galaxy from the seat of your X-Wing, and what could be more fun than that? Number 3. LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga I know, right? Shocking that one of the most successful games of the past five years is actually on this list. The LEGO Star Wars games has been something of its own genre, People loved these games, and it spawned many different versions, however, the Skywalker Saga is undoubtedly the peak. The games are quite simple to pick up and play, so they're fun for kids, but they also have a lot of depth to them, more than people will often realise, and this game is undoubtedly the pinnacle of it. Improved graphics, more games, more content, this is something of an all-time classic and I feel like this is a game that people will be coming back to for many years. With DLC still being released and additional enhancements, this game has a lot in its future. Number 2 Star Wars Episode 3 Revenge of the Sith For anyone who played this game on its release, you will know the excitement that came with it. The game was released before the film came out, so it gave everyone a little taster as to what we were going to see, but even going back and playing it now, there's so much fun to be had with this game, a game that is often forgotten about. At its core it's a very basic game, with run, fight, run, do some more fighting, but the story really does help. I know this is a film that most people will already have seen now, but this game actually gives a great deal more depth to the story than the film does, not to mention the iconic alternate ending in this game that allows you to see what would happen if Anakin had actually won that final fight, plus the two player dueling mode and the amazing amount of easter eggs really help. Number 1 Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic Gaming purists and anyone who knows me won't be surprised at all that this game tops this list. An RPG based on comic books around Star Wars' Old Republic era, this game has one of the best stories ever told in Star Wars. And note, I don't say Star Wars games, I say all of Star Wars. I dare you to find me a Star Wars story across all nine films, across any spin-off, and the Clone Wars, Rebels, anything that matches this because I just don't believe any film or series can tell a story with the depth that this game does. The characters are so believable and interesting that every time you replay it, 
you will find something new, some different way to enjoy it. The gameplay itself is outstanding, however I know RPG games aren't for everybody, so the one thing I will add to this at the risk of spinning off to a slightly different game is, we know that a remake of this game is in the works. It's been hinted that this remake might not actually be an RPG, so whilst I still feel you should check out the original game, if it's that story that you want, hopefully Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic Remake will be able to give you just that. Thank you for watching this list. Please comment below if you think there's anything I've really missed, a game that you loved, and you can find me on YouTube, TikTok, and Instagram.